hey fam welcome back to another video this is your girlfriend to back april if today is your first time seeing this pretty gorgeous amazing face you are welcome please please subscribe to my channel okay like my videos tell somebody about fun to back april and if you're an old subscriber too thank you so much for always coming back to support your girl i really really appreciate it god bless you you already know i love you love you love you and there's nothing you can do about it okay so today's video is a very short story time which happened when i was in secondary school i do hope you enjoy today's video okay and if you do even if you don't you still have to subscribe to it because it's very very important okay so yeah let's get into today's video <laughs> thing happened when i was in secondary school it was a saturday i remember very very well i attended accra high school and accra high school is at north ridge okay it's where wayek is i don't know if that place is the wayek headquarters i don't know but that is where my school is and it's not far from alisa hotel it's very close to alisa hotel and it's some few kilometers away from GBC Ghana Broadcasting Corporation okay it was a fateful Saturday and on Saturdays the caterers in the school don't come my school is my school is a day school okay so we went out on Saturday to go and buy food and I just hope the direction I'm giving is still the same because it's been years when you come out of Accra High School it has two turns the right and the left turn okay so the right turn there's another immediate left turn that is where alisa hotel is so it was on that road we went to buy food on our way back from where we went to buy the food i was walking with my friend angela and some other friends who were ahead of us okay there was this car approaching us at the other side of the road okay and there was this gentleman in the car very handsome guy with the medicated glasses on and he was in this silver car i don't know the car's name because i'm not into cars i don't know so much about cars but i remember vividly well that the car was a silver car so this guy just parked across the street and he was like excuse me can you come so in my mind i thought he was calling my friend okay so i said angela he's calling you then angela too was like no he's calling you so the mom was like oh no no i'm calling you that's me i didn't want to go but my friend was like oh you just go and listen to what he wants to say then i went to him my concentration was on his face because he was a nice guy he was a handsome guy so i was just looking at his face i wasn't looking anywhere else in the car he rolled his glasses down and he was like what's your name i was like is there any problem he said oh no he just wants to know my name i said okay amami i didn't give him my english name i just said amami because everybody's called mommy <laughs> so i just said amami and he said okay um is that all i said yes that's all don't you have surname? Yeah, I told him I can't give him my surname. He said, okay. Um, he wants a favor. I was like, what favor? Because as a schoolgirl, what favor? What can I help you with? If it's money, a schoolgirl, I can't give you. All I have is my lunch money. So I was like, what favor? Because I don't know what you are trying to ask me, okay? And he said, I want to have sex with you. Then, then I just took a step back. I was like, are you okay? He was just turning on my face and then he said if if you have sex with me i'll give you all this then i looked down on his lap i realized that he had his penis out and it was erected like it was very hard like this it was standing I look at the guy's face i look at the penis and then I look at the dollars around him then he said if you have sex with me i'm going to give you all this money it's all going to be yours i'm like are you for real are you serious are you okay upstairs What's wrong with you? Then he said, I'm serious. If you take or if, if you have certain me, all this one is going to be yours. And after school, you can do whatever you want to do with the money. I'm going to live comfortably. Did I tell you I'm not living comfortably? Like, what's wrong with this man? So my friend realized that no, the conversation going on wasn't right. Like my facial expression wasn't giving good vibes. Okay. She was like, ah, what what is going on? Then I went back. The man was like, Don't you want it? I said, No. So I went back and told my friend, ah, can you imagine this man? He has his penis out and telling me he wants to have sex with me. If, he has, if I allow myself to have sex with him, he's going to give me the dollars on his lap. And it wasn't like two, two dollars or one dollar. It was hundred dollars, like baby, plenty on his lap. So when he said, when he heard me talking to my friend, he just drove off speedily. Like he didn't even wait. 
So I was telling my friend, my friend just shouted, Jesus. Like, what the hell? What is wrong with these people? Like, at that time, the only thing I can think of was he wanted to use me for rituals. How much will you get from me? <laughs> How much will you get from me? You're not even going to get that. The safest step you're not going to get. Okay, so then my friend said we should hurry up and go before he makes a, a turn and come after us. At that, I don't know, I wasn't scared. I just stood and I turned and looked at the car, but he was far gone. He was gone. So when they got to the school, I told my friends, and some of my friends were like, I should have agreed to it. What is sex? What is it? that man was going to was, that man was going to be just and blah blah blah. I was like, Are you guys for real? I knew they were joking, but you don't joke with things like that, okay? You don't joke with things like that. What am I trying to say? If somebody who was greedy would have agreed to it, and a lot of girls would have agreed to it, and then slay with him and take, take the money away. You are going to spend this money. Ever so, it will get finished. Okay, so I go, I think after school, no. Yeah, when I got home, I was leaving my uncle at, um, at Laboni. So I think at that period, I wasn't scared though. But it was when I got home in the evening and I started to get scared. I was like, ah, what if this man had pushed me into his car and drove away quickly or something? Like, what if I had agreed to what he wanted to do with me? I said, ah. so think like a lot of things were going through my mind. Then I told my cousin, my senior cousin, Senna. I said, ah, Senna, this is what happened though. So on Sunday, we used to listen to this woman on Sunny FM. Then she was a Nigerian, she was a preacher, but I just hope I don't I don't butcher her name. She was Catherine Omiodio Kitts, something like that. I hope I don't butcher the name. I hope I'm getting it right. Catherine Omiodio Kitts, okay. So people she went after after preaching. She allows people to call in to confess or something, something they did they need prayers for. Okay, and then she prays with them. So a call came in, a guy called. His narration of, of what he was going through was so much in line with what happened to me that previous day. Okay. So I just told my cousin that ah, Sena, listen on. What this man is saying is almost like what happened to me like a day before. And we're, we're just thankful, okay? We're just thankful. And one thing I, um, I'm so grateful for is that I'm not greedy, okay? So imagine if I was greedy. I would have just agreed to this man, gone with him, slept with him, and then take the money away. What if the money too was fake? Have you thought of it? What if the money was fake? What if this man was a ritualist? Okay, maybe the money was not fake. You will get the money. You can spend it. But the sex he had with you, you are going to pay it back. You are going to be his money-making machine. Okay, so this this thought came through my mind after. Like, after, I think it was that Sunday evening. I was just thinking about it. That, hey, what if I was greedy and had agreed to this man? What if I had agreed and the money he gave me was fake? What if he was a ritualist? What if like a whole lot of what ifs were going through my mind, okay? What really brought up this story is I was watching a TikTok video, okay? So I don't, I don't remember like the whole scenario, but it was about money and uh, sleep with me, I'll give you this. Then I remember what happened when I was in secondary school, okay? So I'm very grateful that I'm not greedy. I'm content with whatever I have. I hope you enjoyed today's story time. Please give this video a thumbs up, okay? Even if you didn't enjoy it, you still have to give this video a thumbs up. Because this year, 1K is not passing us by. We are hitting 1K, okay? So please like this video. Share with your family and friends. Tell somebody about Fantaba April, okay? And I'll see you in my next video. You already know I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Bagola Shimo. Stay blessed.